Have you ever felt overwhelmed with multiple Apple Photo libraries scattered across your Mac? Did you know that you can merge Apple Photo libraries into one simply with Power Photos? No? Well, let me show you how. It's easy to end up with more than one Apple Photo library. Maybe you've got one for work, one for family, and another one just hanging around. Merging them might seem like a nightmare, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to make it super simple with Power Photos. And stick with me to the end as I share my top tip on how to make sure that it goes super smooth. Why use Power Photos to merge your libraries? Before we dive into the steps, let's quickly talk about why you should use Power Photos for merging your Apple Photos libraries. Apple Photos doesn't have a built-in tool to merge libraries, which is where Power Photos comes in. Power Photos lets you merge multiple libraries without losing albums, metadata, or photo edits, making it easier to organize everything into one place. It also has smart features to detect duplicates, so you won't end up with 10 copies of the same photo. Something we want to avoid. Step one, back up your photo libraries. This first step might feel a little repetitive, but trust me, it's crucial. Back up your libraries before doing anything. Use Time Machine or manually back up your photo libraries to an external hard drive or cloud service. If anything goes wrong during the merging process, although unlikely with Power Photos, you have peace of mind to know all of your photos are safe. And make sure the backup is secure and working before you continue on. Best to be safe than sorry. Step two, download and install Power Photos. All right, now you've backed up everything, let's move on to downloading and installing Power Photos. Head on over to fatcatsoftware.com and download Power Photos. Install it just like any other Mac app by dragging it into your applications folder. Once installed, open up Power Photos and you'll see a clean, user-friendly interface ready to help you merge those libraries. Step three. Add your Apple Photo Libraries to Power Photos. Now we've got everything downloaded and ready to go, the first thing you want to do is to add your photo libraries to Power Photos. So click the Add Library button in the top left-hand corner of Power Photos, and then select an existing library. Power Photos will have done a little bit of a search for libraries that it can find and suggest some options. If the one you want is not there, you can add it manually and then go and browse where your Apple Photo libraries are. Usually they are stored in the pictures folder. Add all the libraries you want to merge. Now they are all in one place. We are ready to merge. Step four, start the merging process. Now for the exciting part, let's merge those libraries. Go to the Merge button at the top of the screen. Then choose the libraries to merge by dragging and dropping them into the first box. Now for duplicate handling, Power Photos does an excellent job of deleting duplicates, which can be a lifesaver when merging large libraries. You can influence the comparison with exact matches, whether the file names and dates. Also, you can pick the criteria to decide which duplicate to keep by things like modification date, library, album, and a ton more. So make your choice. Then choose your destination. You can either merge into one of the current libraries or create a whole brand new one. If it's an existing library, drag and drop it into the box. Then check out the final options, how you want it to combine albums, if you want to see a preview, also how to deal with edited photos. Power Photos detects edited and unedited versions of the same photo, so you won't accidentally delete a photo that you spent time editing. Then click Preview to review what the new library will look like. I also like to have a check to see what the duplicates are doing to make sure there's nothing crazy going on there. Power Photos does an excellent job of detecting duplicates, which can be a lifesaver when merging large libraries. The app will compare photos by date, size, and metadata to find identical images. It can also detect edited and unedited versions of the same photos so you won't accidentally delete a photo you spent time editing. If you want more control, Power Photos allows you to review duplicates and decide which version you want to keep. My top tip is always to review a sample of duplicates in Power Photos just to make sure it's working the way you expect. Then click Merge. 
Here it will ask you if you want to do a backup before. I would recommend that you do do this. And once you're happy with the new library, you can delete the old backup. Then you will see the magic happen. Step five, organizing the merged library. Once the merging is done, take some time to organize your newly unified library. Check that the albums and folders from all the libraries have been transferred correctly. And then you might want to do a bit of tagging and keywording to categorize your photos if you haven't already. Review any special edits, metadata or geotagging to ensure it has all come through smoothly. Step six, syncing with iCloud. If you're using iCloud Photos, now is the time to sync your newly merged library with the iCloud. So open up Apple Photos and go to Photos and Settings, and then you need to make sure that iCloud is switched on. If the iCloud tab is not showing as being switched on, you need to go to the General tab and then make sure that this library is your system photo library, where the button will be greyed out. If it's not greyed out, click on it and it will make it your photo library for your system. Then. You can log into iCloud and then it will start syncing. You can either decide to put it on the cloud or you can have everything downloading to your Mac. Allow Apple Photos to upload your newly merged library to the iCloud so it syncs across all your Apple devices. Depending on the size of the library, this process may take some time, but once it's done, you'll have all your photos synced and backed up to the cloud in one place. Marvelous. Some wise words. My top tip is don't merge everything at once if you have a massive photo collection. Start with two or three libraries to make sure everything works as expected. This also gives you a chance to tweak your settings or manually review duplicates without overwhelming the system or yourself. And there you have it, merging Apple Photo Libraries with Power Photos is a simple, effective way to get all your photos into one place. But do you want to declutter your newly merged Apple Photo Library? Check out this video next for a bit of decluttering. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.